Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today I'm going to start a new course that is of group theory and this is the most requested course that's why I'm doing this and in this video I'll talk about the basics of it that is I'll discuss the fundamental mathematical system and in in precise way I'm going to talk about what is a group and what is a subgroup so let's start the definition of a group So let's assume that we have a known empty set G and as we have seen in the vector spaces that there are mainly two operations that very first is of addition represented by this and the second one is of multiplication represented with a dot. So similarly in group theory when defining a group we have to specify the operation so here we will use the algebraic operation of multiplication. So we have a known empty set G under the operation of multiplication. Now we have a known empty set G and operation that is an algebraic operation of multiplication. So we can write it in an ordered form like this. So, so when writing it in an ordered form, the set that we are going to discuss or that is under consideration must be written first and the operation that was specified must be written on the second place. So this is said to be a group if and only if it satisfies three axioms. The very first is, the first axiom is that the algebraic operation must be associative. That is, it can be written like this, that if we take elements from a group that is non empty A, B and C, an operation of multiplication is applied between the three elements of G. So multiplication of the first two and then multiplication it by the third must be equal to multiplication of this last two and then it with the first. So this is the associative property of the algebraic operation multiplication. So this is the first axiom that it must be associative for all of the elements of G. Now the second axiom is existence of identity. That is with respect to the multiplication operation there is an identity element in, in a non empty set G that is, there must be an element E, identity of the known empty set G, that satisfy the equation here. That if we are going to take the multiplication of element, any element of G with the identity present in G, then this will be equal to, we can also write it as E dot A, that is identity and an element of G, that must be equal to that element of G with whom the identity is multiplied or identity is operating under the operation. So second axiom was of the existence of the identity that when we say that G is a group then the second property or the second axiom is that that there must be an identity will be in the group and that identity must satisfy this equality. Now moving toward the third axiom Third axiom is about the inverse of the elements of the G. That is, if there is an element A in the G, then by this axiom, there must be an element A prime or A inverse such that it satisfies this equality that the element of a G or a non empty set G with the inverse of G and the same case here must be equal to the identity. So if this equality true for all of the elements of G, then we can say that the third axiom is satisfied by the set G. So this G is said to be a group under this operation, algebraic operation, if it associative, if there is an identity for all of the elements and there is inverse for every element of G. So this is the definition of a group. And now we can discuss the definition of a subgroup. Now we are taking the subset of a group G and G, if G is a group then we can talk about its subgroup. So G is a group and now we are interested in defining a subgroup so we are taking the subset of a group G. Then H is said to be a group, a uh, subgroup if and only if it is itself a group under the same algebraic operation as defined in G. So 
if let's suppose that h is a group under the operation of addition then h is not a subgroup of g h is a group but h is h is not a subgroup of g so h must be a subgroup of the group g if it is the same if it is a group under the same algebraic operation as defined in g so the example of the most common example of a subgroup is so if this is a group of all of the known zero real numbers under multiplication so this is a group and now we're going to take the subset of this all of the non zero positive real numbers so this is under the same operation of multiplication is a subgroup of a group g and it is also a subset of this so that's why we are talking about that it is a subgroup under the same operation of that of the group of all of, of, all of the non zero real numbers and this is uh, the elements of all of the non zero positive elements under the same operation so this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch my upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye